let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. Giving is not just for the very rich by Dr. Susan Aurelia Gittleson is a valuable resource, an inspiring, easy-to-use guide which gives you numerous creative ideas and how to reap the many benefits of giving. She offers reasons to give, considers values and concerns, and advises you how to give wisely. Dr. Gittleson has been president of International Consultants Incorporated and has been consulting for international business, education, cultural, and other institutions. Her books and articles have been published on four continents. Dr. Gittleson received her BA from Barnard College and her MIA and PhD from Columbia University. She received the prestigious Alumni Award for Distinguished Service from Columbia. She was a a trainee at the Rockefeller Foundation. Now, in addition, she was an assistant professor of international relations at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. She edited several, headed several small international business firms for many years, using her earned income to sponsor cultural and educational programs. She's listed in Who's Who in America, Who's Who in the World, and Who's Who in Finance and Business. Recently, she was featured in Fortune magazine. Dr. Susan Aurelia Gittleson, author of Giving is Not Just for the Very Rich, a how-to guide for giving and philanthropy, is our guest on This Week in America. Dr. Gittleson, welcome to the program. A pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much. Looking forward to this conversation, and let's start with the very basics, the, the motivation to write this book. And you've done a wonderful job laying this out, feeling us, feeling, making us feel that we're all inclusive in this. We're not too small that, that, that we can't make a contribution. Why did you decide to write Giving is Not Just for the Very Rich? Because I've been doing, uh, I've been creating um, awards and programs and everything uh, for many years. And I wanted to sort it out and, and uh, try to think what is most important and how could I help other people give too? Uh, because the basic lesson is really the more we do for others, the better we feel ourselves. And this is really in counter-distinction, <clears throat> excuse me, to all the people who, um, who feel sorry for themselves and blame themselves and blame others. And then they start taking drugs and some of them commit suicide. And I feel just the opposite, that um, it's just not worth uh, harming oneself and other people. It's much better to say, how can I help this person else? Um, It started, for example, um, now uh, we're facing wars, a lot of tension internationally, which is, of course, the setting. Well, if we just uh, complain about it, it's not going to help much. So the idea is to help other people if we only can and uh, and give advice or what I actually would. The, uh, what I do in every situation is ask people about themselves. This is how I got into business also. In other words, um, instead of everything being I, 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 I'm so good, or I'm so bad, it should be, um, oh, I. it's such a pleasure to meet you. And what's your back- background and where did you come from and what are you doing and why and, and how... Uh, can you advance what you believe in? And I do this all the time. Um, I moved to a new building, so uh, I've been helped by the staff. Uh, they make such a difference in my life. And I get them to talk about themselves. Well, most of them um, did not go to high, high school, finish high school, go to college or do anything. So what? You know, uh, one can always be a snob and say, oh, I have this degree and I have this and I, no, it should not be that way. I always like to thank them and point out how well they're doing their job and how I couldn't do what they're doing. Yes. So I really appreciate them. And it's, it's an attitude that I want to encourage other people to have as well. And instead of saying, I, 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 I say, 
you, oh, this is wonderful what you're doing. And how can we cooperate together? And what can we do to advance a, a certain yes. project or advance the world? I love that concept. And it cost you nothing. It took a couple of minutes for you to say something. And you probably made their day, maybe even made their week, because someone you know, was concerned about them, paid attention to them, uh, communicated with them on their level. There are so many positive lessons that come out of what Dr. Gittleson was was just discussing there. Her book is Giving is Not Just for the Very Rich, a how-to guide for giving and philanthropy. Uh, the author is our guest, Dr. Susan Aurelia Gittleson. And I'll give you all that information where the book, what the book's available, wherever books are sold, basically, and link at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You mentioned the world at war, and there are several hot spots in the world now, and that's sort of underselling what's what's going on there. It's certainly people losing their lives in a, on an ongoing basis. If someone feels like they want to help within Ukraine and what we're seeing in the Middle East, what's the best way to go about that? It's hard uh, not to be approached several times a day by organizations that claim to be taking you know your money and spending it wisely in these areas. How can we go about helping and making sure the money we're giving is actually helping? That is an excellent question. And that's one of the reasons that I produced a book, because I go into uh, the various consulting organizations that have a lot of experience and rated different philanthropies um, <clears throat> in terms of their reliability. Um, it's terrible if someone gets in touch with you, and I'm sure we all have that all the time, and says, oh, so-and-so has such a problem and so forth. All you have to do is give money and all you have to do is uh, subscribe and join our organization and do this and do that. And it's often absolutely false. And uh, who who benefits? The individual, of course. Exactly, I, I, yes. Why not I get more money and so forth? But it doesn't help the people that we really want to help um, I, I've been, uh, there was an article today about Ukraine, about women learning how to use arms because they say so many men have been killed. They may need us. We better be ready. Well, I, I just, I admire them and I admire those people who are very practical. It's not enough to say, I want to help. No, let's find out. What are the projects that this group needs or talks about? And what are the other projects? And let's compare them and let's find out um, what seems like a really practical way to do some good and also something that's suitable for me. Um, you know, not all of us can go to the trenches or in, uh, yes. in Ukraine or any place. Um, let's do something that we really can do. You know, I really like that approach. The title of the book is Giving is Just Not for the Very Rich. And it's just not with money, is it? You're talking about a situation and in, in talking with the uh, the workers in the building where you just relocated. You're talking about a situation with uh, th some women in Ukraine thinking what they need to do to really help is to learn how to, to bear arms. So it's not just giving. So often people are hesitant because I don't have a lot of money. I'm not going to make a difference. You don't need a lot of money to make a difference, do you? No, you really understand, my God. Well, you have a lot of experience as an interviewer and probably you do many good things yourself. But that's what it's all about. Um, let's eliminate the III and instead say, this is the situation. Here are the people who are very constructive and are very helpful. Let's find out how we can assist them or uh, how we can recommend them to others. And it's always upbeat, always, um, not, let's not concentrate on, uh, I don't know about you, I, I sometimes I look at fashion magazines, and on, on the one side is, uh, are the problems of war, and on the other are these very expensive jewels on, on models. Nope, so exactly, forth. yes, yes. <laughs> Pretty hard. I, I, I don't want all those jewels, thank you very much. I'd much rather help people. Well, and you've done that your entire life. Let's talk about where that came from, that attitude of I'm going to help. And I mentioned that you've taken your money from jobs that you worked and 
and done good with that. And for so many people, they, again, they go back to, I, I don't have thousands that I can give. I, and I, I would like to give something, but I can't. Where did this come from? Where did this, uh, this desire to help other people uh, come from? Was that from, from your youth, from your parents? Oh, yes. My father was wonderful. <laughs> and he was, he, uh, he established book collections at major uh, university libraries. That, that was his thing. And he also, he set up an award. He admired his own father and he belonged to um, a well-known fraternity. And instead of uh, saying, oh, I want to do this in my name. No, everything was in his father's name. Um, really, most of us, I hope, have reasons to thank our parents, to honor our parents, um, and to honor other people, to look for the good people. And if we find them, and it's not so difficult if we really try, then we want to uh, bring attention to their good deeds and, uh, and, and further what they're doing and bring in other people who can help also. So this is an attitude I grew up with uh, from a very young age. And uh, uh, I wish everybody could admire their parents. It's not always possible. Well, sometimes but, we maybe we take that for granted. And if you read uh, a book such as uh, Dr. Gittleson's book, Giving is Not Just for the Very Rich, it, it gives you another, a different understanding of uh, parents. It may be a member of the clergy. It may be a teacher that impacted your life that uh, you suddenly can, can honor in a way that's meaningful to, uh, to that memory you have of them and meaningful to, to what's happening in, in society today. The book we're talking about, Giving is Not Just for the Very very rich, uh, a guide how to, for giving and philanthropy, uh, a how-to guide. And let's talk about that how-to aspect of it. The author is Dr. Uh, uh, Susan Gittleson, our guest on the program. You really go through and lay this out. So if somebody is thinking, yeah, I would like to do, but I have no idea where to start. You really take us by the hand, don't you? And you get us started on, uh, on a course of helping people. Oh, yes. Thank you. I, you understand everything so well. And I, what have you written about it? You certainly could write, or uh, I guess you do it through your interview program. That's wonderful. It's instead of being stymied, oh, I can't do it. I don't know. I'm not smart enough. I don't have all the degrees. I, you know, some people really talk themselves into being unable to do anything or um, even worse to feel sorry for themselves and take drugs and do other foolish things. Yes. In, instead of, starting and saying, um, wait, I had this wonderful teacher and she did X, Y, and Z. You know, I, I want to try that also. Let me just ask her, how did she do it? And let's see whether we can bring some of the other students in the class into this. And so, you know, so once you just start something positive, it doesn't have to be big, but it, it's meaningful, it's something you believe in and you want to honor someone you really respect it's amazing. One thing leads to another. And then, um, of course, you're always willing to listen to other people's ideas. That's part of it. It's never can't be I, 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 I. No, it's we. What can we do? What can we learn? And, uh, and somehow um, we began with, with my youth. <laughs> I, was, I was so fortunate with my father. But also now I'm a bit older. And I still do the same thing. Um, whenever I meet people, I ask them about themselves. And I try to think of something constructive or just to show them respect. To so say, oh, really? You know, like you're a new immigrant and you came here and, and you're, you, you found a job and you're doing so well and so forth. Whatever it is, always to uh, appreciate another person and help the other person continue doing good things and helping others. And so that, it's a whole chain. Well, yeah, and it makes you feel good too, doesn't it? When you're able to compliment somebody, engage somebody, you can see that that look on their face. It's it, it may be a smile. It may be like, wow, someone is 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 asking about me. They feel good, and when you walk away from doing that, you feel good as well, don't you? Absolutely, that's the whole basis of. Uh, 
of giving is not just for the very rich. By giving to others, by you can see when you, um, I find this, you know, I have a physical therapy class, so I talk to the different uh, p- people there and where they come from and why are they there, and it's amazing. And then uh, they, you see that smile. You mean you appreciate me? Most people don't bother, but you, you, you're taking an interest in me. Isn't that terrific? And the same thing, um, even, it, it, you know, with the staff in my building, um, I, there's one man who's been very helpful, but he, he, he doesn't, most of the people are immigrants and he doesn't speak and he can't do anything. And one day, um, the staff had been out working very hard and, and they were sweating, whatever. And most people just said, okay, let them go. And I stopped and I asked him about himself. And somehow I needed something done in, in my house, um, lead bulbs. And he came right up and he took care of it. You know, it was, I, I said, how could he, why did he come up so quickly? He had other things to do. And then I realized it was because I had looked him in the eye yes. and said, I appreciate you. I see that you are working very hard, even if other people may not realize it. The book is giving not just for the very rich, is not just for the very rich. Our guest is the author, Dr. Susan Aurelia Gittleson. Time is going by way too quickly. Gittleson, by the way, if you're Googling, is G-I-T-E-L-S-O-N. Book available at uh, Amazon, all of the usual places. Links on our website to go directly to the Amazon page for Dr. Gittleson and get information there. And you also talk about volunteering. That's really an effective way to give back. And somebody may not think of volunteering as a form of giving or a form of philanthropy. It really is, isn't it? And if we don't have a lot of money, or, or, or even if we have a lot of money, volunteering is something that really doesn't cost us anything but can make a huge difference in, in somebody's life. Absolutely. No, you, you understand everything because uh, – I, I listened to, to a, a, a music program in the morning and there are messages about people and people call up or, or send emails and they mention that so-and-so was so helpful. So-and-so gives to everyone in the neighborhood. So, um, somehow people who do good and don't call attention to themselves are, are noticed by some others, if not everyone. And it gives such a warm feeling to everyone. And then other people say, well, wait a minute, if so-and-so figured out a way to help others, I can figure out a way to, let's see, what, what can I do? It's just, it's so wonderful. Instead of what happens too often, people gossip about each other, people say, I'm better than the next, you know, all these negatives, instead of yes. what's so much easier, just uh, recognizing good things when we see them. Again, it's not just money. It's um, people go out of their way to help others because they see there's a need. We don't have a lot of time left, but I do want to ask you about people that give monetary donations. And for many people, they've got a certain amount set aside, maybe not a lot, and they want to spend it wisely. How can they make sure the money they're giving is going where they think it's going and being utilized in the way they they would be happy with, pleased with? Um then I recommend getting my book because I list the different agencies that evaluate different uh, philanthropies. And there's a big difference among those who are substantially motivated and, uh, and stick to the criteria they've set up and others that come along and say, Oh, give me your money. You know, I'll take care of it. Um, we have to be discerning. Everything requires, some thought, some planning, um, and learning from others and discussing things with others. Um, instead of gossiping about so-and-so doesn't look well and ugh, no, what a exactly. horrible outfit. You know, right. Let's talk about, oh, did you see what so-and-so did for her child, for her mother, for her friends, for this, whatever it is. It's wonderful. Let's all try to be like the good people. 
what would you hope that the made, I don't say the takeaway, but maybe several takeaways uh, that you hope the reader gets after, after reading, giving is not just for the very rich. What do you hope is, is the takeaway? We read the book, we're inspired to do something. We've got the guide uh, there, but what do you hope that stays with us after we read the book? Um, it, oh, if you can start with one idea for helping one person who needs it, then you're on your way because you feel good. And then you say, wait a minute, I could try, you know, so-and-so also needs help. Hmm, let me try that. And let me talk to you about it. It's, it's, a, it's an attitude. It's a way of approaching people. And once you, you start, it's very easy to continue. I mean, you asked me how I started my childhood. Well, <laughs> if you start early, it's easier. But even if you start late, uh, it, you can look around you and, and see what needs to be done and say, how can I help this effort? What can I do? What can I recommend to somebody else that that person can also join in this effort to help people? The book is available wherever books are sold. I love one review that said it's like having a fireside chat about how I can do good. And that really sort of sums it up, doesn't it? It's sort of uh, what I can do to make somebody feel better about themselves uh, what I can do to help somebody who's less fortunate than I am going through a difficult time now. It really is sort of um, giving on an emotional level, isn't it? Oh, yes. You understand everything so well. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's like understanding and what this means to the other person. And the, the power of listening is often overlooked, don't you think? And uh, uh, you're so worried about uh, what I'm going to say next. But next, we really don't listen to what the person uh, that we're talking to has, has to say. So there's so much, uh, so much in the book. The book is Giving is Just Not for the Very Rich. The uh, author is our guest on the program, Dr. Susan Aurelia Gittleson. You have this way of breaking this down on all levels. People that are just starting, people that that have maybe a nice sum of money they like to do something with now, and they're not quite sure how to go about it. It's a, an easy-to-read guide that gets us going in the right direction. What are you working on now? Do you have another book that you're, that you're working on? Actually, I was just invited to... This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, uh, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. But Jay Anderson, segment producer. People. Ben Watson, um, webmaster. Otto Bechet, director of engineering and TV production. Advice. This I Week in America produced and is the trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, so LLC. Well, I have to get For information on all of our guests and okay, to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. Uh, and I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer really of This Week in America. To live well and help others. And I mentioned talking about the reap the many benefits of giving. It really is good for our soul, isn't it, when we're able to help other people? Oh, yes. In any religion. I mean, real religion is, is when we thank whatever God we believe in, but also uh, when we find ways to help other people, not, uh, not only when we're in church or, or synagogue or wherever, but um, in everyday life, that's, that's this whole idea. When we talk with people, um, there's nothing worse than looking down at people. There's nothing better than saying, you know, you're a person. Look at all you've accomplished. Tell me more about yourself. Always building up other people. And amazingly enough, you'll feel better. And they may even try to build you up. But you, but you don't need that because you know that... that uh, you're committing a good a good deed, and that's what we should be trying to do. The book is so well done. It's available wherever books are sold. The uh, giving is not just for the very rich. The book by Dr. Susan Aurelia Gittleson, Reader's Magnet, self-publishing and marketing company, has set, uh, set up our conversation with Dr. Gittleson. Uh, what's it been like working with them and getting the word out there on uh, on the book? They've been very helpful. And they thought of different ways of reaching people. One of them was bringing you into my life. Uh, 
I I think you're an excellent interviewer. Well, thank you. I think um, you're I think you're an excellent author and guest. So it uh, I, I <laughs> really loved having you on the program. What you were doing is is so important. You've done it throughout your career, and it, it's not just the money. It's a, a a kind smile, a conversation with somebody, it, it, something that we all can do. And I I I'm just so impressed with what you've done, and and really enjoyed having you on the program. And hopefully, we can do part two of this. I would love to have you back in the program. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been such a great pleasure. Thank you. And uh, we hope that everyone who listens to us will feel inspired to help others. Why not? It's very simple. And if you need a guide to do that, giving is not just for the very rich by Dr. Susan Aurelia Gittleson, G-I-T-E-L-S-O-N. Book available wherever books are sold. A link on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And you're listening to This Week in America. And we're back on today's program right after these messages. <laughs> 